What is going on guys? Hey, I hope you guys are in a fantastic day. So recently I moved into a new apartment and I will give you guys a quick tour at some point, but I got this big mirror and I figured why not mount it to a wall, maybe put some LED lights around it. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it. I went to Home Depot and got a three by five mirror. So the goal is to mount it on this wall without it falling. So I went to Home Depot, got these cuts, one and a half by one and a half, and I got two 28 inches and two 52 inches. So I'm gonna mount these on the back of the mirror and I actually got some liquid nails and I also got some D-ring hangers and some screws. So the goal is to mount this on that wall. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the liquid nails, put it on the back of these. All right, so here's what we got so far. I'm laying it out and then I'm gonna put the nails on it. If you're super OCD, you can actually measure this out to be even. I put like four inches here and about two and three fourths there. But yeah, we're gonna put the liquid nails on and then let it dry. Okay, so now we're going to take our liquid nails and we're going to apply it on the wood. Now, if you do not have a saw near you, you can actually go to Home Depot and they will cut these for you. So just measure it out how you want to based on the size of your mirror and then just tell them the measurements and they will cut it for you. So if you've never used liquid nails before or never used a caulking gun, what you're going to do is you're going to cut this at an angle. Um, there's measurements on here. I just use my pocket knife and cut it. And then you want to take a long nail, poke it through here to create an opening so that way it allows the liquid nails to go out of the tube. And then if you've never used a caulking gun before, what you wanna do is place this bad boy in here like so. So you wanna make sure it's all the way up at the front and then you wanna push this lever and pull it back to about right there. And then from there, you just pull the trigger and just go kind of slow along the wood. So make sure when you get your caulking gun that it's the right size. I actually ended up getting a little bit of a bigger one, but we're gonna make it work anyway, so let's do it. All right, so as you can see, it's literally coming out the side right here. So huge fail on this, but we're still gonna get the job done. Just make sure you guys get the right size gun. Uh, let's get back into it. All right, so I got that on there. And if you guys want to, you can wipe all this off. You can use like a paper towel just to clean it up a little bit. That way it doesn't dry like that. All right guys, so it is day two and we got the liquid nails dried up. So that is good to go. And now I picked up some LEDs from Home Depot. So we're gonna put those on the very edges of the wood and we're gonna stick those on there. And then we're gonna put the D-rings on and mount the sucker up. All right, so I got three sets of eight foot for the LED strips. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those on right now. Okay, so the LEDs actually came with some screws. So what I did is I used those to mount all this extra wiring on the back so that way it kind of hides it once I put it up on the wall. All right, so I put the D-rings on about a foot and a half from the top. So what I did is I measured all the way to the top of the trim. Now I'm gonna go about a foot away from the trim and I'm gonna make the first nail mark. So I'm gonna use this leveler, which is actually a laser leveler. It's actually really cool. So I'm going to put in two screws and then I'm gonna mount the mirror. <laughs> All right, so here's the finished product. That actually turned out really well. These things are pretty cool because you can actually hook this up to an app to change the color. So I'll show you guys right here. So you hook it up to the Wi-Fi and you can press the on button and boom, you got blue, you got all sorts of colors. I can move this thing around and it'll change different colors. Okay, so I'm gonna turn off the lights so you guys can see what it looks like. <laughs> That's pretty sick. What I did for the lights is there's actually two strips right here. So I just kind of looped them around and it makes it kind of brighter as well. I mean, you guys could put it around three times to make it a little bit brighter. I might do that as well. So yeah, if you guys end up trying this, let me know in the comments down below. This thing's pretty cool if you wanna add just a little bit to your standard mirror. And on the app, you can do like different presets. So you can set it up to different colors. You can set it up to automatically change. So lots of cool stuff you guys can do with this. Let me know what you guys think. And thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure that you guys leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.